first, we will write the Verilog HDL program of the circuit. Based on the diagram we have one output and three inputs. For the output we have, D. For the inputs we have, A, B and C. Also we have four interconnected wires. Then determine the connection of each logic gates. Don't forget to put end module when you finish your program, the test bench will be written below your Verilog HDL program. In writing a test bench, it is a good practice to put letter T before the identifier to determine the test bench. Your output will be written as wire, and your input will be written as reg. Use the same identifier that you used in your Verilog HDL program. Here you will put name of the port list. I named my port list C1, then put an initial keyword. The block is enclosed between the keywords begin and end. Based on the truth table you will able to write your simulation log on your test bench. The first line in your simulation log will be 0, 0, 0. Then the next line will be 0, 0, 1, accordingly. The 20 delay have an effect in suspending the simulator until the associated time has lapsed. The delay control operator affects the scheduling of the assignment created by the next assignment statement. The delay is written on the second line of your simulation log. Note that the begin is always enclosed with end keyword. Next is to display a one-time value of variables or strings with an end-of-line return. The statement display specifies the display of D, A, B, and C in binary. Then enclose the program with an end module keyword. After you program your Verilog HDL and test bench, you need to compile it to see if there's an error. The simulation built below your screen means that there's no error. But if says compile error, you can go to window tab and click the report simulation log. Here, you can see what line has an error. Below your screen you can see the timing diagram. Click the run button. Then click allow access. There you go. That's how you program your Verilog HDL and test bench.